Hello, I am so excited. I'm gonna do my empties today and I'm gonna upload this today. Yeah, it's November 9th. Yeah, and I'm gonna upload this today since I'm late and I just keep filling, filling, filling. I, oh yeah, I cut my finger real bad. So I have little splints on, super gorgeous, I know. But let's get right into her. I'm gonna start with candles. Everyone wants to see the candles, right? So let's start with this, ooh, spooky vampire blood. This one's so good. If you know, you know it was good and it burned, it burned fast, but strong. It is Blood Red Strawberry Spin Night Blooming Jasmine Dark Transylvania Plum. I will buy this every single Halloween. Let me throw this down there. Okay, the next I got through an apple and charcoal. Looks like this started to burn too. Oh yeah, the wicks moved. Forgot about that, but this one smelled really good. On cold, this smells just totally like the Honeycrisp apple candle, but once you start burning it, it does smell like the charcoal. And it did get a little bit steady also, um, but it has sweet red apple, smoked charcoal. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it was good. I would repurchase that one. I really liked it. And then, oh, this was a Walmart candle from Mainstays. It was vanilla, and it was a nice, nice baby. There we go. Um, it was good, actually. I know the Mainstays candles are definitely hit or miss. Um, but this one burned pretty good and I could actually smell it. So that's a plus. Okay, the next I have Ghoul Friend. Yes, ma'am. This one smells so good too. And this one is strong. No issues with the burn. We have Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peony, and Spine Chilling Citrus. When I first smelled this candle, it was last year actually, and I didn't like it. And then I bought one later, so I thought I was gonna like it, I guess, I don't know. And then I burned it and I fell in love. So I love this one. I have a diamond shimmer mist in this. I would love this in the body care of BB Dubs. You know what to do. But, okay, let's see what's next. Then I got through a sugared lemon zest. Look how steady this one was. Oh my God, this one had like the biggest mushroom top ever. So I had to keep trimming it and it just kept growing back. But we have Oh, this is so tiny. Tangy Sorrento Lemons, Bright Lemon Zest, and Sugar Cane. This one smelled really good, and my husband mentioned that it smelled really good, too. So, yeah, we like this one. We bring this one in our um, bedroom bathroom. I know he likes lemon scents, so I like to put them in there. Or in the kitchen. Lemon's always good in the kitchen. I got through a Black Cherry Merlot. Oh, yum, yum, yum. This one was fire. If you like Black Cherry Merlot. I'm a little bit bored with it. Like it's just been around so long. Like I don't always pick this one up, but it was good. It's wild black cherries, velvety red wine, and juicy, juicy red raspberries and bright plum. Did I say all those? Cherry, wine, raspberry, plum. Yeah, okay. I have a mountain of candles over here. It's gonna fall over, I think. Okay, then I got through a mini vampire blood. This one was cute. I should put the burner or anything. Yeah, it smelled delicious, of course. And I got through a pumpkin carving. This one burned a little bit funny. I don't have a candle warmer um, to take care of like that issue. It just had like a little bit of tumbling at the bottom. But we have freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. I really like this one. This one smells good. This one's like, yeah, perfect right around like the week of Halloween. I like to burn this one. Oh, it smells so good. It's spicy. It's a little more earthen than like sweet cinnamon pumpkin, for example. back okay okay i got through a bourbon maple this one was interesting i didn't love this one it was barrel aged bourbon sugared amber and maple wood yeah it smells good um i bought picked this up because i thought it was going to smell better burning you know it's like one of those like sleepers but i don't know i didn't love it my husband didn't love it if i didn't love it i mean he didn't say anything about it the ones he says about i like always repurchase those ones but he usually doesn't say anything <laughs> Okay, then I think this is the last candle, looks like. Um, this was a Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. There was some sort of sale um, with this. This one smelled really good. If you know, you know. It's a really good vanilla smell, and um, it burned really good, and I could actually smell it, so I have no complaints there. I picked up a pink candle before, and I literally couldn't smell it, so I was pleasantly surprised with that one. Okay, then I got through a Ghoul Friend in the hand soap. And again, that is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling chitsters. This one was so good in the hand soap. I love this one. Good and strong. And such a pretty color. Like, it makes me happy to use. That's the kind of ones I like. Okay, and then I got through, of course, Vampire Blood Skis. Red, red berries. 
my Blooming Jasmine and Petrifying Plum. And then last for the hand soaps, I got through a Champagne Apple and Honey. It is crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. Um, felt really good, smelled just like the body care. Loved her. Okay, then we did get through a Coco and Shea. This is the moisturizing body wash. It is comforting and creamy coconut is the fragrance notes, I guess. But yeah, my husband really liked this one too, so I'm gonna pick up more of this. He likes the moisturizing body washes and he really, really liked this scent, so. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting more of that. I wonder how long they're gonna keep that around. We will find out, won't we? Okay, then I did get through an Onyx Bath House. This was their little Halloween, one of their Halloween um, body scrubs. I got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. Um, the flavor is pumpkin spice latte, but it smells more like like mocha, like a espresso chocolatey thing. Oh yeah, it smells good. But yeah, I got through that one. I started using this in What's the month before October? September, because I knew I wouldn't finish it all in October. These tub ones just last so long for me, I don't know. If I get one of the squeezy ones, it's like over in five days. Okay, what else do we have in here? Okay, I got through a couple of hand sanitizers. I did get through a Vampire Blood, and I got through a Peony and Basil. This one, I didn't like. I wouldn't buy this one again. If I remember that I don't like it, I will not buy it again. Um, okay, I got through um, this Seeds. Phyton nutrients, Phyton nutrients, moisturizing conditioner. I got this in like a, I'm not sure, one of my subscription boxes. Um, and I'm surprised to say, cause it's all like natural and organic that it worked really good. It like, yeah, really left my hair moisturized. I got through this Fenty Beauty Primer. Oh, it's getting all washed out up here. And this is the hydrating primer. This is my favorite primer ever. I think it's getting close to $40 though. So I'm gonna use what I have and I'll circle back to this if I still like it. Hopefully there's one at the drugstore that I like better. I got through these makeup wipes. This is Cherry Blossom. I don't remember where I picked these ones up at. The brand is Beauty Concepts. Cute little packaging. They were fine. I'm trying not to use so many makeup wipes. I'm just trying to do like more micellar water and a wash rag. It works just as good, but that's like an easy quick fix. Okay, I got through this Glow Recipe. This is the Pink Watermelon Moisturizer, and this smells so freaking good. If you know, you know. Oh, it smells so good. This is so expensive. I bought this, I bought like a mini set. It was like a bar Barbie collab. Yeah, it was a Barbie collab. And I loved it. I still have a tiny bit of the serum left. So, so very sad. I got through this Too Faced. This is a little uh, lip gloss in eggnog. I think this is like th at least three years old. So yeah, glad to get rid of her. I love a mini lip gloss to just throw in your purse. I got through the Moon and Barbie toothpaste and this was in Bubble Mint, which I am shocked to say me and my husband both liked this. It doesn't taste like the little kid toothpaste. That's what we were expecting. It's It tastes a little bit like that, I guess. Like it is bubble gum and mint, but it is just like elevated, I don't know. I would definitely buy this again. I even looked for it on Amazon after we used it up and they were already sold out. So sad, but we love that. Okay, then I got through a Velour lip scrub. This is Jeffree Star and this was in Cherry Soda. His lip scrubs are amazing. I don't buy them very often because I don't want to buy the shipping. And <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I don't want to pay for the shipping. Um, so I'm on the hunt for a different lip scrub. If you guys have any that you know that work good, uh, please leave a comment down below. Okay, and this is the Hard Candy Insta Pout in First Move. And I love these ones. They come with a brush. Look at that. Isn't that cool? But yeah, these are super cheap at Walmart. Um, I love this color. I think I might take a picture of it. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it so I can um, purchase it again. I got through a old Becca lipstick. This is in the shade Yours Truly. It was like a really light nudie shade. Um, really too light for me, honestly. I always had to use a dark liner to make that work, but got through her, R.I.P. Becca. And then is this last? I think this is the lastest thing. Is my fan broke, so I got a new one. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it. I'm super excited. I got some Christmas candles going. I'm just so excited for this season. I can't wait. I love Christmas. I know it's only November, but everyone's, you know, everyone just calm down. I can love Christmas. I can listen to Christmas music. I've been singing my son Christmas music since he was born in the summertime. It's just who I am. It's a part of me. <laughs> okay. 
I gotta get going. I'm annoying myself. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!